An alien fruit took root in India two decades ago, sparking an export-driven boom that brought overnight prosperity to thousands of farmers. With little domestic demand, the gherkin is like no other crop in the state of Karnataka and perhaps in the country. Seeds sealed in neat packets are brought in all the way from Europe. Export companies engage farmers through contracts and it is in the unpredictable farming belts of Karnataka that the exotic fruit is birthed. They are pickled in vats of brine and sent in crates to take pride of place on dining tables overseas. It was in the 1990s that exporters found in the relative warmth of districts such as Kolar and Bagapalli the perfect conditions for the cultivation of gherkins. Just like the IT and outsourcing boom that transformed Bengaluru a few hundred kilometers away, this one too was founded on cheap labor. For more than a decade, this sector saw an annual average growth rate of 20%. Export companies popped up like mushrooms in food parks and special economic zones. While banks announced special loans, agriculture policies dangle special incentives and gherkin contract farming spread across the state. By 2014, over 1.31 lakh farmers in southern India were engaged in gherkin cultivation. The sector's exports touched 1,200 crores, an impressive feat considering that a decade ago, exports were barely worth 180 crores. Karnataka, where gherkin cultivation covers 20 out of 30 districts, accounts for more than 60% of India's production with the neighbouring states of Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu chipping in. In 2014, parts of central Karnataka saw copious monsoon rains even as large parts of the state battled drought. The perfect conditions yielded a bumper crop. But just a few months before the monsoons arrived, something unexpected happened. Russian soldiers took over the courthouses and government buildings of Crimea. As Russia faced sanctions from Europe and America, suddenly the largest importer of gherkins found itself unable to afford the fruit. Thousands of miles away, in the nondescript villages of Karnataka, company agents were suddenly obsessed with the Russian crisis. The crisis devastated the industry. At least five companies with significant investments, some owned by hotel, telecom and steel tycoons, have folded up. Production has dipped by over 70,000 metric tons. Making up for the loss of the Russian market by tapping the European one proved difficult as the latter is choosy and has strict compliance norms and certification requirements. But is it possible that somehow the US and Russia would normalize relations and bring Indian gherkins back on Russian tables? Well, the fruit is fickle and vulnerable and uncertainties loom much like the dark vestigial monsoon clouds that threaten to wash out the season's crop.